So this is a GIF animation that I just created using ChatGPT. So it was consisted of these photos and ChatGPT is actually able to combine them together into one animated GIF animation file or in this case, a WebP animation. But we are actually not going to be using the image generation model in ChatGPT because even though the image feature in ChatGPT is really good at creating realistic and stylized images, unfortunately, we cannot use that model to create a GIF or animated file uh, in the platform. Instead, we want to use something called Code Interpreter. So let me show you how you can create a GIF animation or a WebP animation using ChatGPT. So let's open ChatGPT and make sure that you have prepared the images that you want to turn into a sort of a photos slide animation like the one that i have shown you earlier now after that uh, you can upload those images and i'm going to just drag and drop my images into this chat area so one thing that i do recommend is make sure that the aspect ratio is the same because if you are let's say one picture is horizontal and then the other picture is let's say vertical then when you are uh, creating a, a gif animation then sometimes some pictures might be cropped so i highly recommend to make sure that everything is in the same aspect ratio now after that this is the prompt that you can use and don't worry i'm going to put the full prompt down in the description so i can copy and paste it into chat gpt but there are a few things that you need to customize so here uh, the, the you can select the format which is uh, either gif or webp now i honestly recommend using webp because it is just uh, similar to gif but the file size is a lot lo a lot smaller so that's the uh, format that I'm going to use and after that you can specify the aspect ratio uh, sorry not the aspect ratio the resolution of the image in this case I use 512 by 512 pixels but you can use something else like let's say 1000 pixels 2000 pixels or 300 pixels beyond something that's small it's up to you but remember if you select a bigger resolution then the file size will usually increase as well now, after that, you can specify how long the duration of each photo. So you could uh, it could be 500 milliseconds, which is 0.5 seconds. And if you want to the if you want the photo to be one second each, then it's going to be 1,000 milliseconds. And after that, you can select the animation. Now, these are just some examples that are popular, but there are many other animation styles that you can apply into the transition in this case i will use the fade animation which is simple and it is actually something that i have shown you earlier this is using the fade animation when transitioning from one photo to another okay now let's continue uh, you can select the duration of the animation and you can select basically the quality of the image so uh, in this case if you want to get something that is small then you can use either 128 or 64 colors and if you want to get something that is really big or a very detailed then you can use 256 but i'll just use something in the middle which is 128 and yeah i think that's about it so after that i do recommend to use a thinking model because after all we are going to execute some codes in chat gpt so uh, this version is just a lot better but if you don't have access to this version that you can use the auto mode in ChatGPT. Now I'm going to send a message and just wait for ChatGPT to uh, analyze or look into these pictures and it will stitch them together into one uh, single animated file. So I'll just give a word and I'll show you the final result. Okay, so after that, you'll get a download link that looks like this. You can just click on the download link to get the animated file that was created by chat gpt okay so the previews are not showing up but that's not a problem because we we at least got the file that was created by the code execution in chat gpt now the file size is at least for me is only 2.2 .2 megabyte which is still manageable it is not the biggest animated file that i've ever seen so i think that's still respectable so let me just open that on my browser and there you go we got this result uh, these are the frames or photos that were created from the 
input that I just sent to ChatGPT. As you can see, uh, it got the animation right, and yeah, every single photo is basically visible in this particular uh, WebP animation. So yeah, that's a really cool use case of ChatGPT. You can use this AI platform to create a GIF animation and just provide the photos with the prompt, and after that, you'll get uh, this file in just a few seconds. Again, the full prompt is going to be available down in the description, so you can use it in ChatGPT. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.